All right. So now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures beta. Learn basic JavaScript by building a role playing game. Step 64. All right. So now our update function needs to use the argument we pass into it. Uh, inside the update function, we're going to change the value of the button one dot inner text assignment to the uh, location at button text. All right. That way we use but pardon me. That way we oh my goodness. That way we use bracket notation to get the button text property of the location object passed into the function. All right. So, uh, just like for, uh, what are they? Just like for arrays, we use bracket notation to access these, uh, properties inside of these objects right here. Right. Uh, the only difference is that we're going to be using the key value, the keys instead of like the, uh, indexes, like this is index zero, index one, index two. This is uh key name, key button text, key button functions, key uh, text like that, right? So let's do a little example real quick, uh, just, just in case. Let's go down here and let's say a console, whoops. Let's say a console.log. And let's uh, put locations in there first. We're gonna put this locations right there, like we did before. So we'll say locations like that. And let's open up the console. And you can see we've got the array with the two, uh, what is it, the two objects in there, right? So let's access the first object by having this, uh, what is it? This brackets with, these brackets with uh, zero inside of it, like that. And so we've got the first one right here. And now let's access this uh, button text property uh, to get this array right here, all right? So let's say at button text. So button text like that. And now we see we have this array right here. And if we want to access this go to store, uh, we would just have another set of brackets and we would do zero again, or we could do one or we could do two and it would change them like that. Right? So that's basically how that works. So basically what we're going to do here is we're going to, uh, what are we going to do? We're going to change this one to location button text. All right. So location, and this is the, this isn't this locations up here. This one is the argument that's going to be passed into the update. So like right here where it says location zero, that's basically what it's talking about. So location at, uh, was it button text, button text like this. And when we, uh, do the function call go town, so function, let's say, uh, go town like this, you can see it goes to town like this. And we still got to do a couple things. We got still got to do something to uh, access this go to store. But this is basically what it looks like right now. All right. So let's get rid of that. And let's check the code. Looks good. And submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 65. And we'll see you next time.